IHTN Studios. It's Gravy. Top of the morning to ya. Oh, what was that for? You're not wearing green. Oh, I didn't know it was St. Pat's Day. I just thought I was doing this for fun. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to the news. Last weekend, our mock trial red team advanced to nationals after beating Notre Dame Cathedral Latin. The black team finished third after a very close match against our own senior red team. The sophomores had an impressive season, winning 12 out of their 13 matches. Finally, Mr. Rieger would like to give out a huge shout out to the whole black mock trial team, and specifically Sarah Kaplan for being tremendously supportive and an outstanding player. Kira He. Our awesome choir also had their OMEA district competition this past weekend. The premieres received a superior rating in Class AA for their performance. And our Latin team has their best finish in 10 years with multiple over, overall state top 10 rankings. Great work. A huge congrats to the robotics team as they advance in second place of 68 teams in Ohio's finals to the World Championship in Louisville, Kentucky. A special shout out to our Science Olympiad team who received medals in nine events this year. Did we mention it is St. Patrick's Day? Let's see what our Braves beat Leprechaun has been up to. Have you guys seen, ever seen my pot of shakles or pot of gold? Yeah, I have. Where? You know where. <laughs> what about you, Sam? I took your pot of shakles. <laughs> Where's my shakles? Where's your pot of gold? Uh, probably at the end of the rainbow. I checked at the end of the rainbow, someone stole them. Well, then you're not a very good leprechaun. Oh. Uh, I had to go for a journey to do something else. Well, my pot of gold was under the rainbow. I'm pretty sure the entire point of you is to guard the pot of gold, so. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Now for some sports news. Our boys lacrosse team defeated Wyoming last Friday in a scrimmage at Wyoming High School. Benny was at the scrimmage and was able to catch up with one of this year's captains to talk about the team. Alright, so you know we got a we got a really strong offense. I'm liking that. It's we got a pretty all-around young team, but we have a lot of faith in the younger guys. We only have four seniors, but you know everybody makes a really good contribution, and it's looking like it's going to be a really strong season. Uh, we start Friday, and most of our games at first are away, but as they start to be at home, hopefully we'll have a lot of support and people start coming out and watching our games. Yeah. Miss Cottrell has a new baby girl, Maria Louise Cottrell. She was born at 6.29 a.m. on Monday, March 13th at 6 pounds, 6 ounces and 19.5 inches long. Everyone is doing well. Here's a short video produced and edited by our acting and directing students. And I'm going to tell you what to eat. Apple. <sighs> the nasty young seeds. I am Jack Johnson, the world's leading meditation expert and therapist. And I will make you relax. Hello, I am Hannah Raganoni, and I am the most organized person in the world, and that is why I should be your manager. Hello there, I'm Laura Waltman, and I'll dance to make you look good, and I'll look perfect.
I'm sure Kyle has now been cured. Thanks to the acting and directing students for joining us over the last few weeks. Wait, what was wrong with Kyle? Anyways, be sure to follow us on Twitter, like our Braves Beat Facebook page, sus subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. And as, and always, as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. just landed on me, right near the ornamental pear tree. You can't put this on Brazy. Wake up, dude. Put your hands up high. We're going to teach you how to impress women. So what are you doing later today? Like, dinner time. Which one of you would want the possibility of a chance to, if I was to possibly be your boyfriend? Could you repeat it, like, again, because I'm not understanding. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. You could be the queen. I could be a castle. Um, do I sit in the castle? Oh, I'm sorry. 